let's let's talk about Kamala rewriting history six because it, Democrats do a lot of this. This is the ultimate gaslight we're about to discuss. Yeah. So just so people know, there was a lot of jockeying back and forth about the rules of the debate. And essentially, Trump had agreed. Now, after Trump agreed, and only two weeks before the debate, Kamala's team is now demanding a seated debate, even though even the 80-year-old head of lettuce could stand. But Kamala... Oh, there he goes. And we're back. Yeah. So Kamala Harris can't stand, doesn't want to stand, and she wants to be able to have notes. First of all... But it's Trump that's the, that's the coward here. Yeah. She, what she's asking for is to have... First of all, I think we all know that what notes would mean is that she has the questions ahead of time. There's no doubt in my mind that yeah. that will happen this time. It'll be just like last, you know, first It'll of all, be like the second debate in 2016 when they yeah. uh, were, were fielding them to Hillary Clinton. Was it Donna Brazil who, yeah, I th yeah she like yeah, gave them to Hillary Clinton ahead of time, um, which and it didn't even help her. That's why I'm so agnostic about any of this. My response to this, and there are a lot of people pushing back. I'm like, fine, fine, fine. Agree to it. Because if she has her stupid notes, how good do you think it's going to look when she has to read from a binder full of factoids the whole time? I don't think Trump, that looks for good for exactly. her either. Should, that's what Trump should exactly do. So Let her agree. have the fucking notes. Yeah. Agree to it and say, I'm not going to bring notes. I'll right. out-debate you. I don't need the fucking notes. That's number one. And with the muted microphone thing, it's like they're trying to cast it off as though the Trump campaign is trying to change the rules. Like if you look at legacy media articles, yeah. you think, OK, the Trump campaign is trying to change the rules last minute, you know, to try to screw around. But then if you read the articles, it's more like, no, the Kamala Harris campaign is trying to go back on the rules that were already agreed upon. Trump is saying it's perfectly fine. And then there's some differentiation between him and his staff, apparently. He, well, there's... he said, he said, OK, that's fine. You know, if you want unmuted mics, that's all right. But his staff insists on having them muted. Well, there's I think you also you accurately pointed this out in your standalone segment this morning um, that they saw how it went for him with the muted mics. It couldn't have gone yeah. worse. He ended Joe Biden's presidency in one hour on TV. <laughs> like the mute, the muted Donald Trump is actually better than unmuted Donald Trump because it Far forces better. him not. Yeah, it forces him not to filibuster where he he does do that. He talks too damn much because he does love the sound of his own voice. When you force <laughs> him to stay in there in that and he answers the question, I think that that is why the Democrats are like, well, we got housed in the first one. Let's go back to open mic because maybe he'll have an unhinged moment. I, I, that's, I, that's the whole that's the whole reason behind it. But uh, th there's definitely shenanigans going on here. I pointed out earlier, it's like the battle of five armies because it's Trump v. Kamala v. Trump staff v. ABC v. us, you know, the public. Yeah, yeah. It's like watching Lord of the Rings politically. Only far less interesting, but more orcs. The, <laughs> I think uh, I don't care. Like people were getting in my replies. I was like, just do it. Who cares? People are like, no, we have to. Here's the reality. You know, Trump, Trump enthusiasts, backers of Trump. Let me, let me, I don't want to sound like a jerk here, but let me define reality. That's part of what my job is as a commentator. Trump is not in a position of power when it comes to the debate. He is completely at the will of the Democrats. There is no fighting for this or that. He has to debate her. He loses. There is a much greater chance of him losing the election if he does not get to debate her. So Agreed. a lot of hardcore Trumpers are like, no, you tell her no, but he can't. He literally can't. And so he doesn't the, need to. He does That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Unmuted mics doesn't necessitate it doesn't that he gets the run on. Right. If he just, Jeez, if they what's say, what's going to happen, what's going to happen is that they're going to try to do the unmuted mics. And if they're successful in rigging that in, there's going to be a moment. And 
goddamn dozens of people have messaged me to this effect and i agree with them she's gonna have a moment where she's like donald i'm speaking yep a black That's woman the is whole talking fucking point yeah this strong empowered woman is talking and you need to know your place white dude yeah and the how That's will that the whole fucking point and the left is going to and that will happen and the left will be like she's fearless and she's like fierce but she the, talked down to the dawn orange man bad yeah but real voters are like oh she's a a bitch like that's yeah. that's how it'll play people would be like oh she's rude but um, trump is also good at rope doping people like he's good at one of the best. like he'll he'll give them leverage and then they'll hang themselves so yeah. that's a counterbalance to it yeah i think and, and um, to complete my thought about why Trump should immediately accept it is he because must. it's two reasons. It's the reason I laid out. Look, he is not in the position to negotiate. He knows that. He knows that he needs Kamala Harris to be on live TV to beat her in the election. Yeah. And so it, you will either look weak by fiddle faddling back and forth about this, or you will look strong by saying, okay. You want to host it in the ice cream shop? Fine by me. You want to by do the, this? By the way, Fine I, by I me. Think, I think the the uh, debate has been tacitly agreed upon by his campaign manager, actually, in the last hour. Yes, he did agree to it, mm -hmm. and that's how they should it, play it. it. Yeah, it, it will happen. It's just a matter of you know the fine ends, basically. Yeah, I don't know why sitting seems so important. I, if I were Kamala, I'd want maybe it's like he's <laughs> less, he's more empowering when he stands up. I don't know. It's because there, of the height difference, quite literally. Oh, yes, it's the optics of that. literally nothing more than the height difference. Taller candidates tend to prevail more often than shorter candidates. We've seen this. There's a direct correlation. She's like, what, 5'7 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, she's very very small compared to him. He'll she tower over her. She literally doesn't want to look physically diminutive. It's literally nothing more than that. And they, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't think... I think it's a power move to immediately agree to it and then to like laugh at it. Like, I don't care if you want to host it in the zero gravity massage, you know, whatever. <laughs> Fine by it. We don't care. We, we know that once Kamala Harris opens her mouth and something comes out of it, instead of going into it, uh, it's bad for her. And yeah, that's you know, the thing. When uh, you need to get her before a debate because she's going to say weird shit. Yes, she she does this almost every time that she makes a public appearance and speaks, even for like five minutes. She says something that's either derpy or insane. Well, if you get her up there for an hour, an hour and a half or something like that, she can't help it. And that yeah, and, and I and that's why I think the notes won't help her either. The yeah. notes will not help Let her. her. Have them. Let her have them. Yep. Go ahead. Because Trump will be, be able to. Yes, but, it would be the ultimate power play if Kamala has a bunch of notes and she's flipping through them and Trump's just like, what the hell are you doing, basically? Right. Is this the what the American mics, people want? <laughs> yeah. Is this is this really what uh, Tom and Sally want? A uh, president who can't even speak without notes? When you have to speak, when you have to make decisions and seconds matter, do you want your president flipping through a binder full of answers or do you want he one could, who's led? You know, he exactly, could cr he'll he crush could, her. He could, he could absolutely crush her out of existence. I'm hoping that his campaign is watching this live stream right now. You have a golden opportunity. Give Kamala what she wants. Yeah. Open mic notes. Go ahead. Just don't have Trump bring any notes to the debate. One well, have all him you have to do one 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 punch and it's over. It'll be like watching Hulk Hogan clubbing a seal. He all yeah. He he just he, he all he's saying in the debate is. Boy, uh, oof, all these training wheels for Kamala Harris. So we need, you know, I, I thought, you know, I'm here, I'm prepared. I don't need all this stuff. And like, I think it would I've already, be. I've, I've already been president. I know how to do the job. She's reading notes. That's yeah. all you have to say. Dude, yep. That would be a crushing blow. The second she, she's she got her nose dug in her notes and Trump's <laughs> like, what is going on? That, that'll be That'll be it. You think you know boomers are looking at that and thinking wow like th th all it's gonna look like is she doesn't have the answers and, and another thing people don't understand like some people even in the comments you're not understanding it um the problem is that politics is now carried by sound bites 
So mm -hmm. like 10, 15 second little video clips, pictures and memes and stuff like that. It will not matter if she beats Trump in the debate in the general sense because she has notes and he doesn't. All he has to do is elucidate in one frozen moment in time. Just over one. Over the course of 15 seconds or so. She's got notes. I don't. There's a reason for that. I was president. She's not been. She's shitty. And I'm good. That's all that he had. That's the only thing that he has to convey. Um, that can be encapsulated uh, ad nauseum effectively to, to it's, drive it's political strategy uh, in the Internet age to drive that point home. There was one 15 second soundbite during the Biden debate that ended his presidency. Do you remember what it was? It was we defeated well, it was, Medicare. It was pretty much. Yeah, it was that. But it was the whole 90 minutes, basically. But that <laughs> soundbite where he short circuited and then the and the moderators had to bail him out. That was it. That was the moment where he's like, ah, we defeated Medicare. And then the, they're like, what? What? <laughs> You weren't even, we weren't asking about that. I, I'm that was that it. Debate later tonight, just for shits and giggles, because it was just the greatest thing ever. And then, but it was after that moment where Trump got loose and he started saying, like, I don't even know what he's saying over there. I think he doesn't even know what he's saying over there. Like, he wasn't even wrong. He wasn't wrong, but he got loose. He built momentum. And then once he knew he had won because of that soundbite, he started memeing on him over golf. <laughs> he he knew that he had ended that man's political career, and he was like, I don't, I don't know. This guy says he's a six handicap. I don't, I don't you know. You're a scratch golfer. I don't, I don't even know what the heck that means. And like he, yeah, Trump he just was, he, checked at out. At that point, at that point, he was having fun. Can yeah. you imagine? I, I have a feeling that this debate is going to be even more fun though than the Biden debate. Trump has to be like, unleashed. Yeah, well, he has to be restrained at first. Let Kamala Harris make a mistake, which she inevitably will. We all know this. She's not well spoken. Then seize on it, really ground pounder, and then you go wild.